Yo, what's up guys, Teacher Paul over here, and today we were supposed to have a member's top five, but the member who was chosen for today did not send me any links. So I decided, you know what, let's just finish my Dimash documentary. <laughs> and I think that that will be, um, that will be cool. So pretty simple, Dimash documentary, um, part two. I don't remember if I, if I, if the last time I, I, I left it in the big screen or the small screen, do you remember? I can't remember. Maybe the big screen, but then I don't want this to be blocked. So, ah, it's always a, <laughs> it's always a problem. Okay. Let's, let's, let's do the big screen. And if it blocks, then I hope you guys understand. Okay. Um, I should greet you in your language. Today has been a very tiring day. I wasn't even, I was considering not, not posting a video today, but I never not post, <laughs> you know? So here we go. Salam et tis be, hola tudo bem, hola que tal, bonjour, ça va, ciao a tutti, tudo posto, guten tag, wie geht's, moin moin, o handet, apakabar in Indonesia, como está Filipinas, hallo, hallo, salam, tchesh, yak shemash, ane a seu domingo, ni hao chungo, dobar dan, marhaban, mirhaban, namaste, namaskar, srazvuitse, privet sem, ahoy, shalom, sia, jonapot, zdravo, sraveitsi, suati, sin chao, sao bona, lumela, konnichiwa, beishapa, buna, Zveki Prishandeche Barev says, hey and howdy y'all. <laughs> okay. Guys, I've been working so so much and I think I'm just gonna post a quick video on the weekend. Um quicker than normal. Because normally I post like a 15 vid minute video. Uh, I think I'm gonna post like a five minute video and just take the weekend off. I am physically um physically and mentally tired because I have been working so hard, not only on the channel, but, um, in my day job and wow, my mind is blowing up. So I'm going to keep it just, I'm going to lay low today. Just watch and enjoy the documentary comment when I can. And you know, when something comes to mind, but don't mind me if I'm a bit quiet today, it's just that really tired. Um, and by the way, uh, my YouTube channel is, is getting pretty full of videos, right? And the older videos are m more difficult to find. So I, I want to set up a blog, but I want to see if one of you guys are interested in writing for the blog. I don't need a lot of things. I just need, you know, some commentary. We can have like a, you know, some people, like maybe three, four or five people writing for the blog, just, you know, so that people can read about, you know, re also read, not only, um, watch my videos. I think that would be great, you know, not only great for content, but great for organizational purposes. Y you could read about what's happening on my channel. Imagine you, you go onto my blog and says this week on teacher Paul, and then you can, you just read stuff. I think that would be nice. I, that's, that's something I want to do. So if you're interested, if, if you like writing, if you're interested, um, just send me a message and I don't know, maybe we can set something up, you know, that would be fun. Uh, um, things, good things are coming. Good things are coming. <laughs> I have lots of plans, but I need to relax a little bit maybe take the weekend off and then come back full power again, well rested. So let's do this. This is where we left off. Let's go. Wait, we saw, we saw this part, didn't we? He tried to sing low. Oh, 
Adil Bek Kulaman is the editor-in-chief of the country's state channel Kabar. He directs large shows where Dimash usually performs. I see how Dimash has grown professionally and I'm proud of it. For those who knew him before he became Igor famous, Krutoy. he has not changed. He remains that kind, sensitive guy. He has no celebrity ego. Recently, I met Dimash and he greeted me as Adil Bekaga. He shows great respect considering his achievements. He is also respectful to his elders. That is the result of right education and humility. <laughs> Dimash singing to himself. We saw this, but I don't know. Um, it. I don't know if I if I rewinded it too much, <laughs> but I don't mind watching it again. And he always remembers his first teacher, Marat Aga. Hey, Marat Aga, to all the brand new ones, come on, say puller. Marat Aga, I'm salting so. Value your teachers. teachers. <laughs> Wow. I remembered his appearance when he just started to practice singing. He was frail and his eyes were huge. Dimash started taking lessons from me at the age of 15. If I remember it correctly, he entered the vocal faculty in 2012. Since then, we have worked closely. We still keep in touch, although we do not communicate with each other every day. He usually calls me when he has doubts about a composition or performance, and we would discuss about it. That's so cool. He has a painting or well, a drawing behind him of Dimash and himself. Dimash's parents, Kanat and Svetlana Aitbaev, and his grandparents are well known in Kazakhstan and in other countries. Dimash sang with them since he was young. Many people knew about it. We raised Dimash since he was born. He calls his grandmother Math. She is offended when someone asks him to call her grandmother. Miwa Nizamuddinova left her job at 47 to raise her first grandson, Dimash. Wow. She sent him to the music school at the age of five, and she gave him first bouquet of flowers after his performance. He liked speaking in public from an early age. He was fascinated by the stage and applause. He tried wow. not to miss his parents' concerts. They are well-known performers in Kazakhstan, Kanat and Svetlana Aitbaya. <laughs> When he was a boy, he came to our concerts and sat in the front row with his grandparents. At the end of the concert, when we bowed, he ran on the stage and bowed to the audience with us, as if he had just completed a performance at a big concert. <laughs> I 
Бала кезден бері аға тәмін сөйтапа концертте өнер көрсет болғанымдан кейін, барлық өнер пазамен бірге сақнаға шығып, халыққа соңғы мәртеп бас сүйеге шығады ғой, концертін аяқталғанына байланысты. Сол өзе залда отырған мен еш кімнен сұрамайым, болмайды дегенде де түсінбейм. That's the message we should learn. You should not have the word impossible in your vocabulary. Жүгір шығатын сақна ғарды. Сақна да үлкен әрістер, үйін әтіп болады деген дертен әкешем бе, басқа кісілер қандай көз ғарыспен ғарайтын, дұрсы мен сұқыл баласын тәрбелемеген ба, деп айтат деп ойламайын. They would never. Жүгір шығамды өзім бір құтты бір өзім үлкен жеге концерт беріп сұған адам сияқты ортасына тұру алып. Қолын жасады. Мен шыққанда көрімен дегенде түсінбе ғады, құтты қанды бір бала жүгіріп шығып, елі өтқан кезе, шығы ол ерен кезе, халық шығы апақты, ооо, деп өтқан кезе, одан сайын реза ол кетпе, шығы, елі өтен шығырып, қайта қайта. Interest in arts multiplied by talent and hard work. Dimash's father says that all the members of their family honed their skills diligently and purposefully. Kanat Kudaybeganovich was raised in this way too. If you cannot keep your word, then better don't make a promise. I'm almost 50 years old, and my father still constantly reminds me about this. We have been brought up with discipline, responsibility, and humility. These are the main values that we are trying to instill in our children. Dimash Kudaybe again takes his first grade height as a student. Oh, look at him with the... Uh, oh, where is it? Dimash Kudaybe again takes his first... Look at his hair. Great that is so... That's a mullet, isn't it? Height as a student of a Tubin's College of Music named after Zhubanov. Prior to that, he won several victories at various small competitions. But it was the Jas Kanat competition that became the platform for Dimash to conquer the world. He sounds so shy. So cool. Желаю вам удачи, счастья, чтобы вы были символом нашей песни. Роза Баланова, помыс, Вигизинде, Инжесанд Хахатсханда, Шурди, Вот Аранжак, Пу, Монтаж, Прижа Савана, Тимо, Прахта, Роза Баланова, помыс, Хазахтам, Унирми. Жасаған еңбегі ұшаған теңіз, ол күсімен бір сәт кезесі білгінде қалдым, бірақ әліңге дейін сол әттеген ай деген әрсе жүрегімде кеудемде тұр. I have to say that Dimash Kudar Berganov is the most special among all the beautiful stars that we discovered at the Jazz Kanat competition. This is not only because he's talented and hardworking, but he's also very dedicated from the moment of preparation of the competition. He tried to participate in Jazz Kanat for three years. This competition was somehow quite difficult to enter into. Dimash became a contestant only on his third attempt. At the age of 16, he submitted an application to participate in the Jazz Kanat competition. He didn't tell us about it. <laughs> he was not accepted and he was very upset. For a whole year, he was Three preparing times. and rehearsing, and at the age of 17, he applied again. 
Wow. When he received the answer regarding his admission as part of the contestants, he was so happy as if he had already won. So cool. He looks so young, so thin. When Dimash entered the Just Kanat competition, Ponomarev and Bolat Yirgaliev announced him as a contestant from Aktyobe City. They were our professors who were also part of the competition as juries. After the first stage of the competition, they told me that there were gifted contestants who could apply for admission into our university. I said that I have to listen and watch their performance first during the third stage. If they perform well, I will support them and invite them to join the undergraduate program at our university. University. Dimash, he went through the first stage successfully, and in the second stage, and in the third stage, he was named as the winner of the Just Kanat competition, and he received a grant. He was wow. immediately noticed. Many people said that prior to the competition, he has performed at small Republican level competitions, and many of our leading artists and teachers were doubtful of him at first. Their view was that it's impossible to sing like that, but today's life shows that he can actually sing and he can be famous worldwide. I would say that his destiny has brought him to Nur Sultan City and he was admitted to our university. Never judge a book by its hair. I mean, by its cover. <laughs> It was immediately clear that he is the winner when he entered the contest. He had excellent background, wonderful voice, and he has a good hearing. Yeah. It was very clear that he would be the Grand Prix winner of the Jazz Kanat competition. And he's he works hard, he's very dedicated, he's very disciplined. Our task was to push him and make him more dynamic and to get him out to the world. He quickly realized this and learned as much as he could at Jazz Kanat. He repeatedly says that the things he learned at the competition were very useful for his future career. He was sociable, easy to communicate with. All the other contestants loved him. The artist with an incredible vocal performance was also noticed by the organizers of the Ukrainian Oriental Slavic Bazaar competition. He was invited to participate in this contest. I have I have watched so many Slavic Bazaar videos. That was that was awesome. You guys sent me good videos of that competition. But it was a competition or was it Dimash agreed and took the first step beyond the boundaries of Kazakhstan's music space. Dimash won the first place at the Oriental Slavic Bazaar in Yalta. Six months later, his incredible voice was heard over the waves of Isekul. He wow. participated in the popular music festival Make in Asia in Kyrgyzstan. The biggest international competition after Jazz Kanad that has a large jury, large audience and a variety of participating countries is the Kyrgyz Make in Asia Festival. It was held in Isakul. Everyone was surprised to see Dimash at the competition, but he had actually been to this contest when he was young.
Чолпаната Халас Набар. You gotta love Daidita, right? It's just an amazing song. A call at that time, so we were worried that we would get a cold. One day before the performance, his mother and I had to urgently leave for work, and we left him in the care of our friends. We were very worried because support is very important for an artist before his performance. We reminded him that he's participating in an international competition and he's representing Kazakhstan. Therefore, he needs to sing proudly and with dignity. We were constantly worried about him throughout the journey back to Kazakhstan. Even when we were at home, he didn't call us with the great news. So, <clears throat> In the Making Asia, um, I, I know that Dimash sang in Kriggs also, right? So is this when he sang? I don't know if I've heard him sing in that. I know he sang in various languages, including Kriggs. Um, I hope I'm saying that right. So I think it was in this competition, wasn't it? Wow. He has won so many prizes. Oh, I love it that he mentions his teachers. Nobody ever remembers the teachers. <laughs> I have to agree that on a global scale, Dimash became famous because of the Chinese I Am A Singer competition. And on the CIS scale among the Russian-speaking countries, he became famous because of the Oriental Slavic Bazaar event. But I want to add that in Kazakhstan, Dimash became well-known from the Jazz Kanat competition, where he won the Grand Prix prize. I wonder what is going to make him blow up in the USA. I wonder. Because we had the singer. We had... I wonder what can, you know, make him a superstar like... Um, like so many that we see out there, you know. I wonder what is going to make him legendary. Like Michael Jackson, you know. Michael Jackson... Um, got famous because of Jackson 5 appearing on TV. So I wonder what's going to make Dimash blow up. Can't wait. I can't wait to see that because that's going to happen. The contest is based on natural talents and the levels of competitions are different. But I think it's important to remember where we all came from. That small success became an impetus to his development and great success. I wouldn't compare these competitions like some people do based on a scale or numerical terms like 15 million or several billion. <laughs> Dimash watching this has been quite quiet. The performance at the Oriental Slavic Bazaar brought even greater fame to the talented artist. We watched the competition uh, in Vitebsk on the internet. We were grandmama. so happy. I become teary-eyed whenever I think about it until now. All our neighbors came to us that night. They knew we were awake and worried. And we shared this victory with them. These were indescribable feelings. Okay, we are at the 30 minute mark. I did say that I was going to do 15 minutes of each part. So 
but the last part, part three, will be maybe tomorrow. I don't know. I think so. Um, maybe tomorrow, maybe Sunday. Guys, I am so sorry. I was planning on doing the SOS video again. It's it's just that I want to make it so epic. I want to make it like more than an hour long. But I, I never have the time to sit down and record an hour long video anymore. Um, it's been so, so, so crazy. It's been so hectic. Uh, I've been working so hard and... Uh, I'm sorry. I hope you guys forgive me if I don't do the SOS. I'll try. I'll go drink some coffee now. And if I get the strength and the energy, I will do the SOS for tomorrow. If not, then I'll just sit back and rest just for a little bit. Just a little while, please. <laughs> oh, I love it. I will see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. I know it, was, it wasn't a 30-minute video today, but... Um, I, I I know myself. If I keep watching, I'm gonna watch it until the end, and I won't I won't I won't um react as well as I I normally do because um because of you know being tired. I I just finished a class right now, and I need to put this out there as well. It's seven p.m. here now, and the video goes up at eight fifteen. So I need to do the thumbnail and all the other stuff, you know. And I also prefer watching, um, you know, these videos where I can concentrate and and read, you know, and focus a and have an opinion that is more than than just, you know, oh, this is interesting. And, you know, just like it's a documentary about his life. So I want to talk more about that as well. So, and also I'm, I'm reserving my voice a little bit today. So, um, I really enjoyed the, the video part two today. I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I hope you guys don't get angry at me for being too honest. <laughs> I know that, um, if I pretend, you know, I could, I could, I could pretend I could pass off, pass off. I could pass by, pass as. I could pretend that I am so energetic, you know, and you guys wouldn't notice, but nah, I'm really drained mentally and physically. Yeah, I, I, this week was so, so hard. Um, and I, I still need to do Angelina Jordan day. I still need to do the, um, I did Danelia, Diana and Kudinova day. And it's just a lot of work. <laughs> Um, so I will take the weekend off to rest and I hope I can, you know, come back with full power. It's hard keeping up two jobs, you know, but I will, I will make it. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy yourselves, um, this weekend, you know, I hope you guys, um, have fun and keep safe, you know, um, keep healthy. Don't overdo it. <laughs> and that's it. I'll see you. Bye-bye. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll, I'll have a video for tomorrow. But it's not going to be a long video. It might be a very fast or short video. Okay? So choose wisely and let me know in the comments what you want me to react to tomorrow. Okay? Um, let Make it the best five minutes or six minutes that I can react to. <laughs> okay, guys. Keep it real. Bye-bye. Take care now. See ya.